What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and gigantic news. And I don't say that uh, lightly. I know that obviously these videos they, they upset a very small uh, minority of people, but I, I know you know this obviously is something that uh, catches your eye, and I'm going to try to not disappoint you. What we have here is a leaker by the name of Millie A. Now she, from what I've been able to gather, she normally posted data stuff. She was in a, a more kind of techy data, I guess, kind of position, and that's what she would post on her Twitter account all the time around july from what again i've gathered is when she started posting games so she's a relatively new leaker but the you know let, let's hold on to the end here she's very very good she kind of picks her moments and she's really from what i've seen really good she i believe is the only person who who uh, posted about wolverine how wolverine the game was going to happen at the uh, playstation showcase which nobody else out there not Jeff Grubb not uh, even the guy that I like you know that special Nick none of them posted any of that stuff she did so what we do also know about her is she had a job change also around the same time that she started you know posting leaks so it's very possible that she's you know maybe she's in a position where she hears stuff bottom line is from what I've seen I trust her I'm gonna start to put her up there with the reliable people okay now the Wolverine one is just one example she's got other things right she correctly predicted the length of the PlayStation showcase she originally thought uh, PSVR 2 was gonna be there but then she pulled it back she reported yesterday about blue point making two games one of them being a remake but that it's a hundred percent not metal gear and then today we found out that konami is making a metal gear so actually just within the last day she had i guess the foresight right to be able to predict that or to know that so i know it's a very long you know explanation but i think people want this right we want to know if we can trust the person or not okay and this is incredibly encouraging news so this person john okay this 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 saint asked her this question hogwarts legacy by the way do you have any insight or inside info on where and when it'll be shown this month or december's game awards and she posted that this morning 7 26 a.m so october or December. Now, obviously, that's not a lot to go off of. You could say, well, Alex, that is two enormous months. In fact, both of these months are going to be uh, 31 days long, right? So she is picking. I mean, it's a wide range, but you know, uh, I guess you could say, well, you know, Alex, she could just say it off the newsletter. Or, oh, Alex, it's nothing new. I mean, I get that every single day. Say something new for once, right? I honestly believe her. I do. I think her, what she says, compounded with all the other stuff we've heard. This is it. This is it. Um, you know, I guess, I, you know, that's really where that stuff ends, right? I guess my kind of, I don't have any insight, but I guess my opinion on this stuff. For October, I don't think you do it before DC Fandom. I mean, that could be off base. They could literally show it next week, and I could be very, very wrong. But I feel like, as I've said before, you're going to show Gotham Knights first, maybe towards the end of the year. I know some people were saying, like, well, I actually know it's funny. There were some people telling me in the comments, maybe jokingly, maybe not, you know, Harry Potter... I don't know if we think of any seasons with Harry Potter it is like the Halloween kind of spooky season and it is Christmas do you know what I mean? like it's you know it's not like the biggest things to latch on to at all and I'm not saying that actually impacts this at all in fact honestly I don't think that I do think they want to do DC fandom first I do think they want to get Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad kill the Justice League shown first and then after that it's it's, it's open season you know what I mean so I would personally say and maybe this is how she's thinking it too but again like she's got i think inside info this is something that i think would happen second half of this month like right after dc fandom i'm not saying like the you know it's on a saturday it's october 16th so i'm not saying like the monday they're gonna show it but you know it could be that week it could be the week after i'm pretty sure those are the last two full weeks of october or you just skip right to jeff Keeley's game awards i feel like game awards makes more sense um I, I guess you're limited more on what you could show at the Game Awards versus on your own, right? Because if you show something in October by yourself, you have the potential to do a lot. But if it's just a trailer, which at this point I kind of think it is, if it's just a trailer, like a story trailer or even a gameplay trailer, even kind of like what God of War Ragnarok did at the PlayStation Showcase, it was it was long. It was a three and a half ish minute trailer. I'm not saying you do it that long, but it was a three and a half minute trailer. It, it really conveyed the story, the atmosphere the tone, the characters, you know, all that stuff, but also did show, like, gain a lot of gameplay in it. So if it's something like that, I think you could do that either place, you know what I mean? And so 
what I will say with that, if that is the line of thinking, if that's what Hogwarts Legacy will do, I almost think they'll just do it at the Game Awards because it's just a bigger, you know, I mean, it's a bigger show. It's a bigger, um, there's more eyes on it. I mean, the, the Game Awards is gigantic, which I think is awesome. I really do. So I, I feel like they'll wait for that. And maybe, you know, that's a cop out answer to some. You know, what I mean, they can say, well, anybody could say the Game Awards. All right, well, you be her. You know, you be the insider then, right? So I, you know, I, I'll defend her until I think that she's wrong on something. So far, I, I, you know, I can't do that. I'd like to see you guys try if anybody is a little skeptical on her. No, well, I guess I should say this. It's okay to be skeptical. I, I do not blame you at all if the first thing you think of when you think of, like, insider or specifically, like, game journalist, if you think fraud or loser or, you know, you see, I think about that a lot with a lot of people in the gaming industry. I don't like almost any of them. But, you know, for someone like her, she's never led anybody astray. She is relatively new, sure, but she's been, like, She's like taking chances on things nobody else is doing, and she's getting them right. You know, I mean, that's that's very rare. Nobody else does that stuff. So I just want everybody to kind of keep that in mind as we're, you know, if you guys are talking down to her, which I won't stop you. Just please be nice. You know, if you if you want to ask her questions, I mean, look, her Twitter seems to be open. She seems to be, you know, reasonably responding to people. Do not harass. Do not attack. Do not be mean. But I mean, look, if you have a question or if you're skeptical, you ask her yourself. You know, I mean, just be polite and maybe we'll get something more. Again, this is how we get some of this stuff, right? Brave souls that go against the grain and actually message these people which you never really think to do because you think they're kind of, you know, untouchable, but then they sometimes answer. And so I'm excited. This this got me excited. I was going to do a different video and I saw this and I said, nope, I cannot just ignore, you know, this topic. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on Patreon or YouTube memberships, links for all are in the description. The join button is obviously next to the subscribe button for the YouTube memberships. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you all on the next video.